I'm Floretta Bonzaya and I work in the psychology department at the University of Cape Town. I teach, I teach um, on the psychology of gender and I teach qualitative research methods. I also do research and I supervise students. My work in femi feminism involves dealing with questions of of gender-based violence um, and engaging with issues of why in South Africa do we have such high levels of violence against women. So I've come at it from a psychological perspective to understand questions of identity and violence and of course it centers questions of, of gender um, in that so, which is why the work is considered to be feminist. Um, my work with, I've worked with both victims and perpetrators of intimate partner violence. My work with men, masculinities and violence specifically has tried to engage with an understanding of why it is that men uh, perpetrate violence against women, but it also works, it also tries to to understand men's violence against women, against discourses that we see both in academic scholarship and in, in the public domain and in the everyday ways we talk about violence that tries to work against well what we see in the in the public domain and in academic discourse is the idea that black men are inherently violent that there's something about black masculinity um, that makes them violent against women so so that in South Africa, the violence, the high levels of sexual and gender-based violence against women, against women is seen as a problem of black men. And so my work has tried to work against that and try to understand why, why are men violent to, the, to women they are in relationships with. But, and it tries to unpack that, unpack the histories of violence, unpack the, con the continuing context of violence and marginalization through a feminist lens that doesn't, it doesn't reinforce ideas about black men and black masculinity that stems from kind of colonial imagination, but it also doesn't excuse the violence that men perpetrate against women. So it's a difficult balancing act um, trying to do that. I think it brings into view the question of way of of who is centered in the work and what someone at the colloquium referred to as tacit knowledges. It's about an understanding of work located in this particular space, the space uh, contemporary South Africa, um, contemporary Africa. So it's about work located here it's about thinking of who the subject is and centering that, but with an understanding that we work in contexts that are so shaped by colonial histories, histories of colonization, of slavery, of apartheid, that have shaped the way we come to imagine subjects, um, co uh, black subjects in particular. And so I think that that's where the connections are. It's about trying to unpack the afterlives of slavery, as Sadia Atman has, says, has said, and, and and understanding for why the afterlives of slavery are important, because in our current context we see con the continuing kinds of dehumanizations of, of blackness. I see a greater articulation of, of histories and presence. I see a greater articulation and understanding of why history is important, why an unpacking of history is important, and um, a great articulation of how contemporary conditions um, are a, a manifestation of the afterlife of, the, of our histories.